I wasn't going to press record today. And I still don't want to press record even after I press record. It's crazy pink day! <laughs> today is... Well, what would have been my daughter's 11th birthday. Uh, today I just feel defeated and worn out and life seems so unfair and you know every year is kind of like a new feeling like I don't like coming up to August 2nd I'm always anxious because I'm like I don't know what the day is gonna be like I don't know whether I'm gonna be disappointed sad angry <sighs> feel like a zombie show up in a you know not so motherly way to my family <sighs> piss somebody off I don't know I just get really anxious because I know that I'm never myself. Actually, that's a really weird thing to say. <laughs> I'm not myself. When you actually are. I am Becky. I'm still the same person. I just have a lot of feelings. I just keep thinking about my daughter Gracie today and how she would be parading around with her cousins and her sisters in some pink glittery outfit like I don't know I just I pictured her in like this pink romper that she would have worn to the heiress tour or something like <laughs> today we did our same traditions we took flowers roses pink roses out to a spot in Grand Marie Minnesota on Lake Superior where we put some of Gracie's ashes after she passed away. And every year we bring roses out to her and we all say something about her, something we remembered or something that we wish. And then we kiss a rose and we throw it out to the lake. Today I made a sparkly, glittery cake with gemstones, candy gemstones, and crystals, and macarons, and it's the prettiest cake. And I posted a video on TikTok that got over a million views, and people keep on posting themselves in pink and glitter, and dedicating videos to Gracie, and Strangers are really kind, especially like these young kids that, like it just surprises me. Like this girl, I don't know, she's, she's gotta be like 13, 14. She posted a video of her making a bracelet for Gracie, a pink bracelet, Gracie's name on it hearts and she talked about Gracie's story which was so sweet so kind so generous and just because she wanted to share Gracie's story and there were people today that came up to me and you know stopped our group of 10 pink people <laughs> And ask, oh, did you did y'all just go see the Barbie movie or something? Why y'all wearing pink? 
And so we got to talk about Gracie. We, talk, we got to tell people her story and that it was her birthday today. I saw people pass us it's with big smiles on their face. I talked to a lady that, you know, asked me about Gracie's personality and, you know, a stranger just asking why we were wearing pink. And it was just one person after another after another that asked about the pink and it made me happy and that I get to talk about her because it's just... <sighs> I'm finding that this is just so much harder as the years go on to like just bring her up. It was easier in the beginning. Weird, huh? It's gotten harder and harder as time has gone by. Like I was shopping for a pink glittery shirt and this lady was helping me because I was like, I'm looking for pink sparkly things. And she's like, oh, what's the occasion? And I felt so stupid. I felt like the worst mom in the world because I said, oh, well, it's for a pink party that I'm going to. Not a lie, right? Because this is a birthday party the whole day. And it's my daughter's birthday. And then she asked, oh, well, why? What's, what's, the, uh, what's the party for? Why are they having a party? Who's having the party? And I just said, oh, um, some family. We're just having a pink party for no reason. That's what I told her. Because I was, number one, exhausted. That day, I was I just felt defeated because I could not find the right pink sparkly thing to wear. And I had to go with a theme. Pink and sparkly. I had to. And it was hard. I was frustrated. I was, I just felt like a bad mom not really telling her about Gracie. And today, like, there was a lady across the street from me and she's like, well, why y'all wearing pink? And I like ran over to her car and I had a conversation with her just about Gracie and it felt good and it felt right and I felt like a good mom. But there are also times where it just, I'm so exhausted. It takes so much out of me to pour out that emotion to tell a story that usually makes people uncomfortable. Sometimes I just choose not to and then I get mad at myself. It's weird. <sighs> Today I just I feel down. I didn't I didn't want to press record. I didn't. I wanted to just camp out in this room and take all my make, rub all my makeup off, put my hair in a ponytail because it's so dang frizzy, and just lay down until somebody thought to come and get me, wake me up. Truth is, I'm not doing okay. I haven't been okay for a while. This has been one of the hardest summers for very personal reasons. Um, some medical stuff, I'm, I have this migraine that's been continuing on since the middle of Ju June, um, and now it's August, and I wake up with it, and I go to bed with it, and it wakes me up in the middle of the night, and. I had a CT scan the other day and it came back perfectly normal and I'm just like, I just want an answer. I just want a cure. I just want my head back. I just want my brain back. I don't want to be exhausted all the time. I just, it's, I mean, that's my own crap to deal with on my own.
but at the same time, it makes things so much harder. It makes grief so much harder. It makes getting through the day so much harder. Being a mom, a parent, especially to a three-year-old, so much harder. And I just, so if you would, if you would pray for me, <laughs> Um, that these migraines would just magically, wonderfully disappear. <sighs> I appreciate it. <laughs> and my daughter would have been 11. Like, what, what would she have been into? What would she have liked? I mean, I just hate that I don't know. Me sitting down and pressing record, which I, again, I didn't want to do. <laughs> because I just felt like I didn't have anything to say. But I guess I do. And I guess my message is for those moms, those dads that have lost a child that just feel defeated, just feel drained year after year after year after year it's hard and and so so many people say you know that saying where stop living in the past you know there's stop looking backwards stop looking behind you and always look forward but we can't really do that i don't think it's possible Unless you brainwashed me, I just don't think it's possible. And I think it's a stupid saying because it doesn't apply to every situation and circumstance. <laughs> Grace was a part of my life. She, she was alive. She was here. And she's still a part of my life. She's still a part of our lives. And she always will be. So she is my present. She is my future. She's most definitely my future. <laughs> That's what I believe. And so just know that you're not alone. It's okay to feel this way. It's okay to also feel guilty for not talking about your child. And on certain days where you're just drained and tired. You're gonna feel guilty. I know that more than anybody. And that's normal, I think. I also wanna say thank you for all my people on TikTok and Instagram uh, for just showing up and for seeing me and for Honoring Gracie and in making the world feel a little bit smaller. <laughs> Is that weird? I make a video on her birthday every single year and I wasn't about to stop today. So it's okay to have so many emotions and feelings and anger and discomfort and like like my whole body hurts right now and I just want to take a nap so that's actually just what I'm gonna do um, because I need to take care of me in order to take care of everybody else and right now I'm not taking care of me and that's a problem <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for hearing my heart a little bit and <laughs> taking the time to care. It goes a long way. And happy birthday, Gracie. One. Happy birthday.